ora. In this video, we are going to learn about multiple alleles and then solve an example problem together. Multiple alleles are three or more alternate forms of a gene that can occupy the same locus. Remember, a locus is a specific fixed position on a chromosome where a particular gene is located. Even though there are three or more alleles for a certain gene, an individual will still have only two alleles in its genotype. In other words, you work through the Punnett square in the same way, as each parent only has two alleles to offer. The difference is, there are more possible genotypes for a certain phenotype. To show you this, we will look at rabbit coat color. For rabbit coat color, four possible alleles exist. Capital C, lowercase cch, lowercase ch, and lowercase c. So instead of the two alleles that you're used to, there are four. There are five possible phenotypes for rabbit coat color. They are dark gray, chinchilla, light gray, Himalayan, and albino. Dark gray rabbits have a very dark coat. Chinchilla rabbits have a mix of dark and light hairs, giving them a grayish color. Light gray rabbits have a lighter fur color, but not as light as albino rabbits. Himalayan rabbits have color point patterning, meaning they have a white body with dark ears, face, feet, and tail. Albino rabbits have a pure white coat. The dominance hierarchy is as follows. Dark gray is dominant over all others. Chinchilla shows incomplete dominance in regards to Himalayan and albino. Himalayan is dominant over albino, and albino is recessive. I've also included a mathematical representation to help you understand. Capital C is greater than lowercase cch. Lowercase cch is greater than lowercase ch. And lowercase ch is greater than lowercase c. Now that we know the dominance hierarchy, let's work through all the possible genotypes for these five color phenotypes. Dark gray rabbits can have the following genotypes. Capital C, capital C. Capital C, lowercase cch. Capital C, lowercase ch. Capital C, and lowercase c. What do all of these genotypes have in common? They all have the capital C allele. So in order for a rabbit to have the dark gray phenotype, they must have the capital C allele. Chinchilla rabbits have the genotype lowercase cch, lowercase cch. In order to produce a chinchilla rabbit, there has to be two of the lowercase cch alleles. You also need to remember the chinchilla coat color shows incomplete dominance in regards to Himalayan and albino rabbits. This means when you cross a chinchilla rabbit with a Himalayan rabbit, you get the light gray phenotype. And if you cross a chinchilla rabbit with an albino rabbit, you also get the light gray phenotype. Using that information, we know that light gray rabbits have the following genotypes, lowercase cch, lowercase ch, and lowercase cch, lowercase c. Notice that there has to be one lowercase cch and either a lowercase ch or lowercase c 
in order to get this phenotype. Next, Himalayan rabbits can have the following possible genotypes. Lowercase ch, lowercase ch, lowercase ch, lowercase c. Remember, the albino rabbit is recessive, so there is only one possible genotype for it. Lowercase c, lowercase c. Now that we have an understanding of multiple alleles, and specifically multiple alleles in relation to rabbit color, we can solve an example problem. What is the offspring of a cross between a dark gray rabbit and a light gray rabbit? The dark gray rabbit's genotype is capital C, lowercase cch, and the light gray rabbit's genotype is lowercase cch, lowercase ch. Complete the cross and determine the genotypic and phenotypic ratios. Pause the video now to work out the problem. Our first parent is a dark gray rabbit with the genotype capital C, lowercase cch. Our second parent is a light gray rabbit with the genotype lowercase cch, lowercase ch. Now that we have the Punnett square set up, we just plug in the answers. Looking at our completed Punnett square, we can see that the genotypic ratio is 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. Because there is one capital C, lowercase cch rabbit, one capital C lowercase ch rabbit, one lowercase cch lowercase cch rabbit, and one lowercase cch lowercase ch rabbit. All four of these genotypes are different. Our completed Punnett square also tells us that our phenotypic ratio is two to one to one. There are two dark gray rabbits because two of the genotypes have a capital C allele. There is one chinchilla rabbit because one of the genotypes is lowercase cch, lowercase cch, and that is the only allele combination that creates a chinchilla rabbit. And lastly, there is one light gray rabbit because one of the genotypes is lowercase cch, lowercase ch. You now understand multiple alleles and can complete a problem involving them. Thanks for watching.